Okay, today we're going to talk about hanging baskets, uh, specifically maybe for Mother's Day, and then I'll talk a little bit about some potted annuals too. So we decided we'd take a walk through one of our growing greenhouses and we might make our way to the other one and show you what we have here for sale and what we've been growing all winter. Uh, I'm going to start out with the super bells up here to my left. Um, these are for full sun and they come in a variety of colors. They like it nice and sunny, hot. Um, they do like feed during, during the summer months so you can give them a slow release fertilizer. But what we do with all the hanging baskets that you purchase from us, we put some Osmocote, which is a slow release fertilizer, in each basket for you. And if you want to supplement that with a liquid food, you can do that also throughout the summer. But this is a, uh, a variety of soup bells. It, it's a blue purple color. You can see it comes in pink. We grow it in a yellow. And then we have some mixed baskets with various colors mixed in together. Pink, blue, and a yellow and white one. So these are all that super bells, also known as Calabracoa. That's the Latin fancy name. And Josh is taking a picture of all of them. There's a nice cherry red down here. Back to pink. And we're going to keep walking. These are all in a, in a 10 inch plastic pot. Now we're coming across some mixed, what I'll call a mixed container. So there, there's several varieties of different plants in each, each hanging basket. This here has Bacopa and, and uh, Super Bells mixed in with it. And here's one that has several varieties or colors of, of uh, Super Bells in the, in the one hanging basket. Again, these are all for sun. Here's another mixed container that has the red verbena, the purple and white petunia with the Super Bells, the yellow Super Bells. So what I want to let you know is that we have a variety of hanging baskets for full sun that uh, you can choose from. And if you want to make a selection, uh, keep, keep in mind what, what you see here today and call us in advance, we can have these hanging baskets ready for you for pickup on the Saturday before Mother's Day or, or, or Mother's Day itself. Um, we've been doing quite a bit of curbside pickup with other material and we try to move into the plant material now that we're getting close to when uh, these become saleable and ready to go outside. So behind me here, Josh can make his way around. We've got some in a little bit larger size pot. These are 12 inch pots. So it has a little bit more soil, a little more water holding capacity. Uh, they'll end up with a slightly bit bigger uh, plant when, when it's finished. Um, this one has some alyssum, verbena, and petunia in it. And there's several of those also to, to choose from. And while we're standing here, I'm going to spin this one around. We also are growing for shade now. I didn't want to get to the shade, but since it's here, we're going to talk about shade baskets. Because many of you have areas that are maybe on the north side of your house or under a porch overhang. Um, this is a non-stop begonia, and this is the yellow variety. And they, they, they thrive in, in a shady condition. So they really don't need any direct sunlight at all. And we've got those in many, I think, three or four colors. So let's keep going. Josh will walk, walk down here a little further. You can see there's more of these mixed containers of super bells and mixed containers of a variety of plants. Super bells, verbenas, petunias. So now I'm coming up upon another shade plant which is real popular. Uh, these are the fuchsias. So fuchsias can take a little bit of morning sun and then, but they really don't like the afternoon sun. So I say pot shade, half and half. Um, and they're just starting to flower, bud up, and they'll be opening up soon. And there's two varieties of, of these. One's called Swing Time with a red and white flower. The other one um, is Dark Eyes, which is a purple. And they come in two size containers, 10 inch and 12 inch clay colored pot. Over here you can see the 12 inch are in a clay colored plastic pot. So we're going to walk down to the end of this greenhouse. I'm going to show you some bags of impatience, which are great for shade or sun. They're also good for sun if you keep them well watered. But hanging here on the back of the greenhouse wall are some uh, poly bags that we, we do up. And they're, they're good for hanging on the side of your uh, side of a wall, a fence, either side of your front door. So we're going to make our way back up the greenhouse. And I'm going to point out this alpine geranium. It's one of my favorites. It, it's, it's not in full bloom yet, obviously. It's just starting, but you can see this pretty, it comes in a pink and 
a salmon color and a red. But these alpines have been using have been used in Europe for many many years. In fact, when we were over in Ireland about three years ago, my daughter and my wife were running the Dublin Marathon. Uh, while they were running, I was looking at plants. No, but I did keep an eye on them. But I noticed that there are many of the uh, um, window boxes were filled with this, this very same plant. And they thrive in heat, drought, sun. Um, they're one of the few baskets that we, we do up where if you miss one day of watering, you won't lose the plant. They'll, they'll come back with many of these others. Once you get to midsummer, they need water every day. But we've used these out in front of uh, Evergreen on our pole, right on Oak Hill Avenue. And we in inevitably will miss a day here or there of watering. We just can't get out there. And they seem to uh, do okay. Um, so if you've got a hot, hot, dry spot, and you're not good about your watering, but you want color all summer, and they're going to trail. So these, but, but by midsummer, they'll, they'll be down to about, about, about here and then and further. And they'll be in full bloom in another few weeks. But that's the pink. Here's the red here. Spin it around so you can see that flower. And then there's a salmon color, which is right up above the pink one here. A coral or salmon color. You can see the difference in the flower. But these are fantastic plants for uh, sunny locations. And they actually keep blooming right up through the fall, almost through a, a couple of early light frosts in the fall. You, they're a winner. You can't go wrong with this plant. And we sell it also in a four and a half inch pot. So if you want to put them in your own win window boxes, we'll, we'll have them in, available on that size. So we're going to finish up by walking up the, the, the other side of this greenhouse. And Josh is just going to pan kind of some of the hangers here. So you can see the different colors. These are all sun now. We're, we're, we're back to full sun. Um, this is a plant called Scavola. There's the blue flower. It's another one that will take it hot and dry. It really doesn't get going until about middle of June, but by then it's really looking nice. And here it is in, in, in the white. It's a hard sell in the early spring because it really doesn't look like much, but I tell people it's, it's going to perform wonderfully for you. So more of those alpine geraniums on the outside and just more sun-loving mixed containers here on the inside. So before we leave the greenhouse, I'm going to have Josh take a look at the bench here. We've got several, uh, these are all for sun. So these are six and a half inch pots with s different varieties of, of sun loving annuals. So you can almost take this pot and stick it right into maybe a 10 inch or a 12 inch pot that you have a planter at home and you don't even have to mix and match your little, your, your four inch plants. The, these are already done up with, with several varieties in one, one, one pot, you can see some See the super bell, the verbena. This one has got super bells and petunias in it. And there's a few over here with petunias, super bells, more petunia. Here's a little lobelia, verbena. The lobelia does take sun. It prefers a, a little bit of shade, but it will take the sun as long as it's kept moist and you've got some nice sun loving weather. The super bells in different colors. And let's go up to the last paper here. This is Lantana. This one here that I started to show you is called Lantana. Butterflies love this. Hummingbirds love this flower. Uh, the color, the flower itself, it's just a wonderful plant. Hot, dry, sunny, sunny locations are excellent for Lantana. And lastly, we've got some more of these six inch mixed, little mixed pots. Uh, lots of verbena. Verbena is a, a great, great, great plant for sun. Hot and dry too. So I think that'll wrap it up for this this green. We'll come back to this greenhouse next week and I'm going to highlight some of the small potted annuals. Josh can just take a little quick look at them, but you can, I'm going to talk about these next week because sometime between Mother's Day and Memorial Day they'll be ready for sale. But this is a, 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 a verbena and there's a bench, a couple benches here, just all, ver, all verbena. And uh, on the back bench here you can see some coleus. Coleus is great for sun or shade in, in, in a, in a uh, mixed, mixed container. Or right, or right in your garden bed. So I guess that'll do it for here, and we're going to make our way into one more greenhouse.